more confidence. He's now five for five from the field in the fourth. And I'm not sure why his teammates wouldn't just keep getting the ball at every opportunity. I mean, the way he's going out there, let him have it every trip. Randall gets to Young. Releases from 15. Cavaliers with the rebound. Perizhov's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Irving passes to Love. LeBron kicks to Irving. He dishes it to Verizon. Irving drives in. Second chance shot. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. Julius Randle picks one up. And you can feel the pattern of this game, guys. They're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. Well, a good game tonight from Love here. He has nine rebounds and a pair of blocks to go along with those. Well, anytime they've needed him, he's come through defensively. He's made a major impact on this game. Kicks to Randall. Poked away. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. Seven seconds. Six on the shot clock. And yes, sir, that one drops. The Beast's got 47 points. And as hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan should be simple. Get him the ball and get out of the way. James gets to Irving. Raiders on the wing. Pass to Love. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. LeBron can't get it to go. Lakers leading by five. Here's the Beast. Hill, a screen on Waiters. The Beast passes to Chandler. And another three for the Lakers. You know, when he gets rolling, guys, he can be an absolute handful to have to deal with. And right now, he is rolling strong. Now the Lakers on the break. Here's the Beast, and there's the call on James. Hill, a screen on Irving. Here's the Beast. Six to shoot. Again, Los Angeles. That's really set them apart today, guys. That success from the mid-range. Well, these are two teams that clearly you've seen the difference in offensive philosophies here. Now, here's Waiters. Off the run, and that's off the glass and in. They're shooting it quite well now. Again, function of shot selection, ball movement. The guys are in, in rhythm, confident, free-flowing, and they're knocking down their shots. Great-looking bounce pass to set up that play. And let's get this up now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Well, over the break, I listened in on David Blatt's huddle. He was not happy with their play to this point, telling them we're getting out hustled, plain and simple. There's still time, but we've got to dial up our effort. Kevin, we'll see if they have enough to get it done. James with it, and Young picks him up defensively. LeBron drives in. And on the way from Irving for three, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. There's 154 left to play here in the fourth. Help the buckets. And now it's a 12-point Laker lead. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. And that's a good strategy when you're on top. And he gets it to go. 25 points for LeBron. Los Angeles has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them a foul. And Waiters over to help. Here's the Beast. He's covered by Irving. Young with no one around. Off target from outside. Well, remember, he made two three-pointers in the first half, but has not been able to get anything to fall here in the second. And a wide-open hook for Irving. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. 
That'll effectively take care of game two here in the NBA Finals. We'll be switching venues for the next one. But right now, an important win for the Lakers. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight, Clark, they had both. They sure did. I mean, the ball was moving, and guys were knocking down shots. And what a huge standout performance it was for the Beast. And with the way he came out energized on the defensive end, getting a hand on a lot of shots, that really got them rolling. Perry Zhao comes with the double team. The pass to the Beast. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the Lakers with another miss. He has just disappeared this quarter, not making a mark at all offensively. And I'm sure he's ready to put this quarter behind him and quickly. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. And Los Angeles guys, uh, shooting has been great, up over 50%. In fact, 52%. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. Those foul shots put them that much more in the driver's seat. Both teams deciding to change it up. And so Los Angeles takes the win. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah, I think it was just really a nice overall effort, Kevin. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the side. Doris? Congratulations on the win and leading the way in terms of the points production. How were you able to create shots for yourself? Uh, I think I was just trying my hardest to sell every fake I threw. A lot of times you can just go through the motions with stuff, but if you work hard to sell a fake, you can open up space like I was able to. Yo, I could make a living in Hollywood with my acting skills. You know what I'm saying? Albeit grudgingly, I will admit tonight you were the master puppeteer. Kevin, over to you. And as always, Doris, thank you. That concludes Game 2 of the NBA Finals. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke and our entire 2K sports team, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Right now, let's take a look at the Jordan Player of the Game.